so Jake and Brenda went to Cold Stone and got ice cream and I ditched them. So we are gonna go to PetSmart while they're getting ice cream. And the place I'm at is all decorated for Christmas. It's very cute. Sorry, I'm walking, which means it's shaking. And I'm on my phone instead of my actual camera because I forgot it at home. But it's all very cute. I wish some of the other stuff was lit up, but it's it's still daylight. Look, they've got like a a snowman and reindeer type setup. Hold on, I'll go over there. Because it's cute. Yay for the Christmas spirit, huh? All right, now we gotta go over to PetSmart, which is over there. Those are kind of ridiculously fat. What in the world? Yeah, I definitely missed the uh, Christmas Care Fresh wagon. Oopsie. Oh my god, look at this little nugget. Look at him. He's so comfortable. <laughs> Reliving life. It's a little girl. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, totally zonked. If you guys are in the like Cincinnati, Ohio area and want a cat, these guys are with the Paws Cause Rescue. Oh, there's one back there getting some dubbins. <laughs> Alright, so we're back home and I have got to get, you know, some of this kitchen stuff done. So uh, instead of just not having like barely any vlog content for the first half of the day, you guys are gonna watch me do this stuff because it's a vlog and this is what I do during the day. Also, yes, my kitchen is really ugly. We're renters, we can't do anything about that, so. Oh, also, really quick, I bought Gel clings. It's the only thing I've actually bought for Christmas cage tours. This cage tour, apparently I'm just gonna pull it out of my butt because
pause Aaron for a second there. Um, I'm not gonna do a time lapse of me cutting popsicle sticks because that will kill my battery. So basically I'm just putting a flat end on all of these. And uh, I'll be back when I'm done with that. <laughs> All right, so um, I've got like a back wall here and I'm gonna use a little thin dowel to connect all of these together. I'm actually gonna use two. You can just use popsicle sticks and do something like, um, like this, where you can like cut them and, and um, combine a wall like that. But I really like how clean the dowels look. So I'm going to use that method first um, and the way I trim the dowels because I don't use like power tools or anything like that because um, I'm lazy. Well, you definitely don't need a power tool for this, but I just use my little wire cutters. Do not use wire cutters you plan on cutting wire with because cutting wood dulls them, but these are just like crafting wire cutters, so they were really cheap. But yeah, and now I just glue this together and turn on a new YouTube video because uh, mine's over. The dowel pins on to the top here just to give it a little bit of a border so she doesn't swan dive off of it she probably still will because hamsters do stuff like that but I like the way it looks you can totally do this with like popsicle sticks too which would be easier than individually gluing these on um, but yeah so now we need to make a ramp which uh, I am going to be doing with sisal string this time instead of little walkie thingies so let's get the base ready first so i'll just set that aside i also want to say that just generally speaking it is far easier to um to paint and seal everything before you glue it all together. I don't know why I didn't do that, um, but just a tip, like if you wanna paint it and then seal it with like Mod Podge or uh, or something like that so that they don't damage it too much if they pee on it, um, I would do that before you glue it together because it is actually like, especially if you use these, it's gonna be uh, very tedious to paint stuff like this. I might just leave it wooden, I don't know. Tonight we are running on the right track
Alright, so I painted it all white and all of this is pretty subjective. I mean, you saw how I built it and you can paint it whatever colors you want to. So I decided, I painted the whole thing white and then I decided I wanted some color but I didn't want stark color. So I painted these like inner rims blue and then I was like, I want it to kind of look like it got snowed on or that it was like worn down. So I took one of these like stiff bristle uh, like natural hair brushes. I don't know what they are. Um, and I took some blue and uh, I did it dry and took off any excess paint onto my own hand and just I'm kind of just splattering paint on it. Um, I know that that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but I'm kind of enjoying the way it looks. I'm going to do pretty much the outside of all of it and leave the inside white. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to do. I don't think you guys totally need to see me painting this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to show you guys when I'm done with it. I've, I've barely done any of it. Just like this and some of the front. So I finished this and I love how the back came out. Kind of that like worn... I don't know it kind of reminds me of acid wash denim kind of reminds me of like just worn down walls you know love that the front uh, the dry brushing just didn't really translate as well to smaller surfaces but I mean it's not the worst thing in the world I do think though like I will have this facing if I do this in the bin cage, I will have it facing outward so I can see it. Um, maybe. I don't know. It's not that important. I wanted it predominantly white just because of the, the nature of the theme. So yeah, there's another item. Um, this is all subject to change because I haven't bought anything else for the cage. But yay, one more thing. I can't believe how good the back turned out compared to the front. What a bummer. But I mean, at least I could always repaint that white and do it again. But I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> All right, so I've got some food for the feeders. Let's drop some there and there. That's for the beetles. The beetles are in this container now instead of the other one. And there aren't any beetles ready in there, so they've got their food, and now I've got to give the pigs theirs. They've got a little bit of green leaf. This is Boston, and this is Radicchio. Then they've got some, um, one of those red sweet peppers, half a green pepper, and then just a couple blueberries. This looks like a ton of food, but most of it's lettuce and it kind of like st stacks up and yeah, they are so ready. <laughs> I know, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I gotta fill their hay rack too, so maybe I'll set up the tripod. I gotta shut the bedroom door so no kitties come in. I hear ya, I hear ya. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, never mind. No tripods, it's fine. <laughs> we'll do this now. You want a blueberry? Oh, sorry. Still working on the, the pepper. Sometimes he eats too fast. It's a little uh, troublesome. There you go, and I got one more for your brother. Whenever he's done with his, what is that, pepper? Maybe if I just set it in front of him, he'll just take it when he's done. Nope, he doesn't realize it's there. There you go just gonna just wanted to hand feed those so that they shared them equally and both got two mm -hmm. I 
Are you enjoying your pepper? It's going to give you such a red mouth. Emily's awake and upstairs, so I'm going to lure him out with maybe some pupa again because he really liked those. What do you think of that? Come on out where everyone can see you, dear. Mmm, there it is. There's that deliciousness. And there's my camera not focusing on you. You want another one? Mmm. And I have some lettuce, too. I know that's usually not good enough, but... Oh, there we go. So my camera memory is about to be full and I don't want to delete anything because it's from today's vlog. Um, so I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to spend some time with Gimli <laughs> and then the hedgehogs who I haven't fed yet. I need to feed them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you bye, Gim. <laughs>